Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another uh, short video on an install I'm doing for a uh, Bachman Spectrum 2662 in HO scale. Uh, this uh, install is featuring the uh, Soundtrack Tsunami 750 uh, mini medium steam decoder and I'm putting um, two speakers into the uh, Vanderbilt shell which is a, a bit of a challenge given that the uh, shell is uh, round in shape, uh, cylindrical. So um, I decided that I would use the uh, smaller uh, mini soundtracks decoder, um, the 0.75 amp uh, decoder, which is plenty, plenty enough power for the uh, locomotive. And I'm going to be fitting a uh, 35 by 20 millimeter medium oval speaker in the rear. I've already got the uh, enclosure down in there uh, just for uh, test fit purposes. And then the uh, front speaker itself is going to be a, a 27 millimeter uh, round high bass, and that's going to be uh, fitted sideways. Both of these are both these speakers are going to be in an enclosure, and I had to do a little bit of uh, modification to this uh, high bass speaker uh, enclosure. And let's see if we can't get that in there, but you can perhaps see. I know the lighting is a little bit difficult, but I sanded this side here flat and then the opposite side flat so I can fit it down in this front space and it is going to go in sideways or at a slight angle and uh, once it's I've already fitted it um, so I know it's going to work um, all the wires from the uh, decoder to the locomotive are going to go uh, to the top of the shell behind the speaker and uh, these speakers are going to be wired in uh, parallel so I'm going to wire up uh, to the high base and then run a another pair of uh, wires back to this uh, rear speaker here um, so all in all uh, I think it's going to sound really good given that uh, these are two uh, good size speakers the other thing that I did um, and I'll show you once I have everything back together is uh, towards the front of the shell um, I opened up uh, dremeled out some of the uh, plastic shell area in order to allow the sound from this tender to escape forward um, there is there is a series of holes right here on the um, tender frame you can see them right there but um, that's not really enough to uh, let the full sound that these speakers can produce um, out so once I have everything uh, tidied up and buttoned back up together I'll uh, I'll show you the hole that I made towards the front of that shell and again um, I do that uh, in order to let all that sound out. No use uh, keeping it buttoned up uh, when you got all these nice big speakers back here. So uh, that's it in a uh, brief. And uh, I'm going to put everything together, uh, wire up the speakers, and then I'll come back to uh, show you uh, once everything is tidied up and down in there. I'll give a zoom up. So anyways, back in a few minutes. Hey, guys, back with you. Uh, so I've got my wiring done uh, for this decoder install and I'm just showing you the uh, final end product before I uh, put the shell back down on the uh, tender frame. So right here is that 27 millimeter high base towards the front and as I explained before I had to uh, do a little uh, sanding on uh, opposite sides of that uh, speaker enclosure in order to get it to uh, fit within the shell. And then back here in the rear is that 35 by 20 millimeter uh, rectangular medium oval speaker. Um, and both of them uh, just fit, no problems, uh, because I use that uh, Soundtrack Tsunami 750 decoder. Um, I neatly uh, bundled all the wiring um, and then taped it down uh, to a metal weight in order to help dissipate the uh, weight. See if I can't zoom in there. Anyways, uh, that decoder is down underneath there, and uh, as I say, I, I, jet, or I neatly uh, bundled that wiring back on itself, and then I taped it with uh, a uh, heat-proof type of tape. Um, it's called uh, Shurcon, uh, manufactured by uh, Better Solutions by Design. Um, you can get it at any quality electronics store. It kind of looks like this. And uh, you can see where I 
uh, bundle the back. The important thing to uh, remember is with these 750 decoders is that they have a difficult time dissipating heat by themselves, so you got to heat sink them. So I added uh, about three quarters of an ounce of lead weight to the uh, decoder, just taped the decoder right to that lead weight. And um, anytime I've used that combination of lead with the um, with the 750 decoder, uh, never had an overheat issue. So anybody, again, can't stress it enough, for those 750 decoders, got to use a heat sink to get uh, heat away or you're just going to run into problems. Um, so anyways, uh, that's it. Oh, also, uh, just to show you what I did on the uh, front of the tender shell, um, I did open it up. So there's a um, fairly good size hole right there that you can see. Um, once it's attached uh, with the um, with the engine, you can't bear you can barely see it. It's just not noticeable, and it lets all of that sound out of the tender. Okay, guys, I'm gonna button it up, and uh, I'll be back with you shortly. Hey YouTubers and welcome back. I finally got that Bachman 2662 uh, buttoned up and uh, all ready to go. Uh, sounds real nice, runs smooth, um, decent puller. Uh, put about 40 cars behind it and um, pulls them no problem. Anyways, uh, here we go with uh, a little bit of the uh, sound and movement and uh, I have adjusted, uh, I have adjusted quite a few of the uh, DDE CVs which are uh, 177 through 186 uh, it takes a little bit of playing it's all uh, subject to what you like um, on those DDEs but uh, I think they uh, do a nice job as far as uh, really setting up a nice custom sound for each individual locomotive anyways uh, sit back relax enjoy here we go So there we go guys, uh, I think a pretty good example of uh, what Bachman is doing uh, with their locomotives these days. Anyways, uh, that's it for this one and uh, hopefully the next time I get to present it to you guys uh, it'll be fully uh, weathered.
painted up and uh, ready for uh, ready for revenue service. Anyways, guys, have a good night, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.